Hello everyone, welcome to Web Technology. This is Yamin, and today I'll show you how we can upload our insert data in Laravel. So I will try to make this tutorial as easy as possible so that you can understand it very easily. So let's not waste any time and let's get started. So this is my Laravel project that I am going to use to show you how you can upload data in database. So uh, the first thing I am going to do is that I am going to remove this part from here and I will have a button over here and if you click the button it will take you to another page where we will have some input field and submit button and if you click the submit button then uh, all the data that uh, will be automatically uploaded in the database okay so let's just uh, remove this writing from here so we need to go to resource then views then welcome dot plate dot php here uh, we'll remove uh, from this uh, from documentation to uh, this part okay i'm just going to remove this one now control s now let's see how it looks okay this is how it looks now we are going to write anchor tag over here and we will say upload page okay let's just add some br over here sorry br and again yeah just to create some gap and if we refresh you can see this uh, over here upload page okay so let's say over here url and inside this we will say upload page okay so uh, now we need to create a route for this so we need to click route and then go to web.php okay let's add a slash over here just in case okay web.php over here we will create a route get and then we will say uh, we need to say this on uh, upload page i'm just going to copy it and uh, paste it over here now we need to give a controller name now for this we need to say app backslash http again backslash controllers then backslash uh, let's say it will be uh, upload data controller at the rate of index okay so we need to uh, write this app HTTP controller slash uh, in Laravel version 8. Uh, so uh, we don't have upload uh, data controller. So we need to create this controller. Uh, so for this we need to go to our project directory. Now this is our project directory. Uh, you can just click shift and right click on your mouse. Then open uh, click open partial window here. now you can uh, create your controller from here or you can also say over here cmd then press enter and create your controller from here okay so for creating controller you just need to say php artisan make controller now our controller name was upload data controller okay so i'm just going to say upload data controller okay now i'll just press enter okay our controller created successfully so if we go to our code then click app then http then controllers here you can see upload data controller now we need to create a function called index okay so for this uh, we are just going to say public function index 
sorry and then we'll just say over here return view uh, let's say upload uh, upload page okay control s now we don't have this page upload page so we need to create this page actually so for this we'll go to views I'll just click views and then right click on your mouse then click new file over here we'll say upload page dot plate dot php okay let's save it control s save okay we now have upload page dot plate dot php which is this one okay now i'll just say over here html and then inside body i'll just say hello control s now let's uh, refresh this page and if we click here okay it take to this face where it says hello okay so our route works perfectly so over here we are going to create a input field so i am going to write form then uh, inside form i am going to say level name and over here uh, i will say input type will be text then name is equal to name okay let's say also placeholder name now i'm going to have it uh, inside a div now let's just copy it and uh, i will paste it three times two times sorry and it will be uh, email so input type will be email name will be email and uh, placeholder will be email as well now over here uh, let's say we'll also upload a uh, picture over here okay so i will say photo so for uploading picture we need to say file input type will be file and let's say name is file as well and we don't need placeholder over here so let's add a submit button as well so input type will be submit name submit okay let's save it control s now let's refresh over here okay we have name field email and uh, choose file option and submit okay so right now i want to uh, show you my database which is uh, over here dot env here you can see my database name is laravel 8 and uh, this is my database laravel 8 and those are all the tables so what i am going to do is that i am going to now create a, a table and uh, insert all this data to that table okay so for creating table uh, we need to just say php uh, artisan make i am going to uh, make model and uh, table uh, together model let's say our table uh, table name will be uh, let's say uh, let's say personal let's say personal uh, minus m so what it will do uh, is it will uh, create a model name personal and also create a migration for our in the database okay so i'll just press enter so model and migration both are created so let's go to our code and check it 
and this is our hair model you can see uh, personal model over here and if you go to database you can see a uh, click migration then you can see a personal table okay now we are going to modify it over here so i am just going to say table then uh, string i will say name let's just make it nullable I'm going to copy it, Control C, and paste it two times. Uh, now second one will be email, and the third one will be file. Okay, so let's save it, Control S. Okay, now let's just save over here, PHP artisan my create press enter okay uh, our table is successfully created now if we refresh we should uh, see a table called personal okay here is our table personal now if we click it you can see name email file okay so table created successfully so right now inside this form uh, i will just say action then method and one more thing which is enc type uh, now we need to write enc type uh, because we are also uh, uploading file from here multi part i think uh, slash from data okay and we also add one more thing which is chrf field now since we are uploading data so the method will be post and uh, we'll just write the url over here url let's say it uh, upload data okay let's save it so right now we need to create this route so we will go to web.php uh, i'm just going to copy this one and paste over here since we are uploading data so it will be a uh, post instead of get okay so as you can see also over here that our method is post so i'll just say over here post and then we need to create uh, change this url to upload data Control c i'll just copy it and uh, paste it over here Control v okay and uh, we are going to change this function and we are going to say store control s so i saved it so now we'll go to upload data controller and uh, i just copy it and create store function str store function okay so since we are uh, upload want to upload data so we need to say over here request request dollar request okay so uh, let's just check uh, before uploading it to the database if we can actually get all the data so i'll say return dollar request so let's save it and let's just uh, refresh this page Okay, let's say Yamin and uh, let's choose a image as well. Let's say Batman. Okay, submit.
okay we, as you can see that uh, you can uh, get all the data so right now uh, I'm going to uh, we need to add model over here use app backslash models backslash our model name uh, which was let's check it personal personal okay personal okay over here uh, we will say dollar data is equal to new personal okay so let's save it now I'm going to uh, copy some code from here and uh, paste it over here okay now this is for uh, uploading file so what it will do is that it will uh, get the file and uh, it will uh, st uh, store the file inside uh, my pub uh, shortest uh, which is uh, inside public which I already created actually and save it in, into the database okay so now I'll just write dollar data name equal to dollar request name uh, which is uh, from here name email and name equal to file so So the second one will be email email okay so we have file name email uh, everything okay so uh, I'm just going to save it into my database so for it I just have to set data dollar data save and on save uh, just return redirect back okay okay let's save it and uh, let's start it from the beginning so I I will just click upload page okay there is unexpected error I think uh, upload page right upload page I think it's from here I did a mistake over here return redirect okay return redirect return redirect back okay let's uh, try again let's choose uh, this image again now submit okay let's check our database our table name is personal remember okay we are able to upload uh, all the data over here successfully in this table uh, so and uh, if we want to check shortest here you can see that image that we uploaded so i hope i was able to help you how you can upload data in database in laravel so if you uh, got help from this video please uh, like this video and uh, 
i really appreciate if you subscribe this channel and uh, if you have any problem uh, while uploading data let me know in the comment section i will help you uh, as much as possible i can and uh, thank you very much again for watching this video